All right, let's talk about measuring loudness, measuring luffs, and using a specific tool to do that. So today might be a bit of a shorty video, but the tool that I'm going to show you today, I used at the Mix Her event in Nashville recently, where we were all learning to do Dolby Atmos mixes. So there are situations where this tool comes in handy when you're starting an Atmos mix, but it can also be handy in other situations as well. So to start with, let's get some background going. We talk about loudness with music and a couple of the parameters that you'll see over and over and over that people are requesting, that people are uh, requiring, right, is luffs and then decibels true peak. So it might be DBTP is what you might see for, for decibels true peak. And then luffs is L-U-F-S. So luffs stands for loudness units full scale. And it's basically a system for measuring loudness for the overall composition. So it's something that you have to start at the beginning, play all the way through, have it read the entire piece that you're working on, and then you get one number for your loudness. Um, and basically, LUFS is weighed a little bit differently than some other systems, and what it's trying to emulate is how humans perceive loudness. Then we have our true peak value, our decibels true peak value. And what that's telling us is any momentary instant what's the loudest point that your piece got to. So your piece can be sitting really quiet for all of it, except in one spot there might be a huge spike and that might make your decibel true peak number be much higher. So it's not telling you like an overall perceived loudness the way Luffs does. It's telling you what is the hottest spot in your piece in any split second. So I'm in my scrap YouTube example session right now, but what I've done is I've imported a master of a song that I made uh, with my Clance and I'ms duo group. You can check it out. It's actually on Spotify now. It's called Honestly. I guess I'll put a link in the description. But anyway, um, I've imported this track so we can kind of look at it and use it for this example. Um, but what I usually do when I'm working in a session is I'll be playing it through and I'll have a meter at the end of my master fader. And that will show me what the loudness is overall for my composition. So usually what I do, and I've done videos where I've talked about this, so maybe I'll link to those too. But basically, I set the EBU mode to integral. That's what gives you the average of everything that you play. And then I set the scale to LUFS 18. And basically what I'm doing is I'm playing the whole song through. I will start at the beginning. I'll click to clear. And then I'll let the whole song play through and it'll show me the LUFS value down here and it shows me the decibel true peak value up here. And those are the two things that I look for. Those are the two things that most streaming services are requesting. So that's how I normally do things. And that makes a lot of sense. You know, if you're working in a session, if you're um, currently working on whatever the piece is, you can kind of let this run and get an idea for where you are ish and adjust things as you go. And then when it gets down to putting the final, you know, getting the final either mix levels or master levels, you can then um, be closer to the goal when you start doing that final loudness polish. So... And I know that I've mentioned this plugin before. It's the HOFA for you meter fader and MS pan. And I'll put a link to it in the description. It is a free plugin. So this is how I often do it. But what the recent Mix Her event has got me doing and the Mix Her Atmos training has got me doing is something different. And it comes in handy if, for example, you're working with something that is already complete and you just want to get a quick loudness reading on it. So a lot of times, for example, when we're doing Atmos mixes, we'll import the stereo master of the track and we will run the analysis on that stereo master before then continuing with the Atmos mix. Um, so anytime that you want to get the loudness analysis of something that is already done, that's already in clip form. So for example, here's a stereo master that I have completed. Um, what you can do is you go to Audio Suite. And if you go to Avid, and you just scroll and look for that pro limiter loudness analyzer. This is what we're using. So I'm just gonna open that up. And Audio Suite processes things on the clip level and it doesn't take, uh, you know, it's not real time analysis. It's not taking processing power as you're playing back. It is something that gets run on your clip and then is done, right? So that's the difference between Audio Suite versus adding a plugin here on, on your inserts. They are two very different things, right? So what this does is you can just select your clip. You do have to select whatever clip that you want to analyze, and then you just hit analyze, and it gives me my reading. So here it is, negative 11.8 LUFS. I get my decibels true peak. That's how that's written, right? 0 0.9. That's good. That's pretty good. And this is great. So I've started using this, for example, when I get masters back from mastering engineers. I'll run this to look at it, and this is so much faster than like 
importing it and then playing it through and making sure you have like your volume and everything set properly so you're not affecting the loudness. Um, so this is much faster if you're in that type of scenario. Now, I just want to point out a few things about how this works. So because this is an audio suite plugin, the way this plugin works, it's working on the clip. So if I take the clip gain and I adjust it, that will affect the reading. So watch this lust value, watch this true peak value. I mean, you can watch everything else too. It's all going to change. So I hit analyze and it's all a lot quieter because I brought that clip gain down. So let me return that to zero. I just held option and clicked on it to return it to normal. Um, let me hit an analyze. <laughs> I almost said analysis. Analyze again. So here are my levels again. And what you'll notice is that the volume does not affect it. So I can drag this way down. This should make a huge difference, right? This is the volume. I'm going to hit analyze and it's the same. So just keep that in mind if you have something in a session that you're going to use and you want to run the loudness analysis on it and then you change the volume fader, for example, it's running analysis on the clip and not how you've placed it in the mix with the volume fader, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Let me know. Now, the other thing to keep in mind, I'm going to hold option and click on this to return it to zero again. Um, and the other thing to keep in mind is that plugins do not affect it either. So like, for example, I have this trim plugin. And I can use this to bring the volume way down, very similar to adjusting the volume fader, right? It's just at a different point in the signal flow. So you can do it between plugins, for example. Um, and now if I run Analyze, same level, right? Doesn't affect it. I can bypass the plugin, same level, right? So plugins don't affect it. Volume fader does not affect it. But clip gain does. And that's what it's showing you is what that clip uh, is at in terms of the loudness level. So that's it. I hope someone out there finds this helpful. Let me know what you think. Um, I think this could be helpful for other things besides just, you know, running analysis on masters. You could use it for, for example, I could see it being helpful for podcast editing or audiobook editing. Um, I could see it come into play in a range of different applications. It's pretty helpful. It's much faster than that alternative that I showed you. And that's why I wanted to share it today. So that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'd appreciate all of that stuff. It really helps my channel. And I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash noise. And we have some additional content. We have a Discord server that we're all hanging out on. That's been my main focus lately. And we have a book club on there that's been a lot of fun. So please feel free to check that out if you feel so inclined. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. Okay. I'm talking at a women in audio panel tonight at San Diego State University, and I'm really excited for it. So it should be fun. Um, I believe there's a live stream of it and that'll probably be available afterwards. So I'll, I'll put a link to that in the description too, if it's available afterwards. Um, it should be fun. It should be a good time. The other thing is I'm really excited about is Shep sent me their Desert Island stereo set, and I just tried it today. It just arrived yesterday. I think it arrived yesterday. Um, it's in a Peli case, which is nice, sturdy case, and I just have these two little, they're the little Colette series mics, and they're so nice, and they're factory match and everything, and I'm so excited about them. So thank you so much to Shep's. I um, I guess I won their, their NAM giveaway, which I was shocked about. Completely shocked. I've, I don't think I've ever won anything like this. And it's so flipping cute. I used it on flute today for a like pop, pops. Yeah, it's like a pop song for sync. Um, and that's my first use of these mics. So I'm really excited about them. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to Sheps and Pelly. Pelly cases. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, so pumped. I think that's it. I'll talk to y'all later. Hope you're all doing well. Bye.